Hi, in today's video I'll be putting some BC Racing coilovers on my Toyota Celica. So I have them here lined up. I'll first uh, just in case reset the preload to make sure it's correct and then I'll try to guess how how high I'll put them the first try around and then hopefully I'll have a better ride than currently. I'll start by measuring the current uh, uh, height, so I will just use the edge of the rim to uh, to the edge of this uh, fender line here, and uh, also in the rear I'll do all the measurements and then later set it back to similar height or maybe even a bit higher. Uh, I think for me at least this uh, front end is a little bit too low for my taste. measured uh, after putting a 4 millimeter preload which is recommended which is exactly the thickness of this tool here the bigger one and I also made sure that these until here are all the equal length like the front ones are equal and the back ones are equal the coilovers are also marked nicely that it says front left front right so I put it to left to right and also rear left rear right so you cannot mix them up. I already set the height currently for 78 millimeters so I measured from here to here also 78. Raised up the car, removed the wheel and in the front you need to undo these bolts, remove this clip here and uh, open it up from here and also here take off the hose because this is here one piece so you need to disconnect these two here. And from the top you need to remove these three bolts here. To get these open I put a wrench here, it will be supported against that one and then I will use extension here, so let's see how it works. So that's how I'm doing it now. Top 15 mil. Now, I have a problem that these don't really reach, so I'll let it go as low as I can from the top. Make sure to clean the bolts and nuts from any debris. And now I use the jack to get it a bit higher, a bit more. So 
perfect. I can quite easily reinstall these bolts. And uh, just in case I drop a blue Loctite as well. These top bolts are 80 newton meters and the bottom ones are 300. The rear is very similar to the front. Uh, you have to remove this uh, end link of the sway bar. From here it's uh, 17 millimeters. Uh, you have to remove the ABS wire, it's 10 millimeters. You have to move the brake line, it's 12 millimeters. And then you have these two big bolts, both sides are 19 millimeters. And it seems to me that this is the easiest way that you have a breaker bar, you break it loose, and then you can use uh, the other one to just undo them. Uh, I have to say the rear somehow was easier. To remove this rear plastic, you have to flip the rear seats forward and you will see here is one, two screws. You have to remove these screws and also you have to take out the back panel. And then you will get to these three screws here. You don't fully have to remove these plastics. It's enough that you just pry them a bit away. So. Uh, can already access the bolt from there, the third one. The first two you can get uh, without removing this. Uh, this one is 64 newton meters and I have to say that these uh, BC Racing coilovers don't have an integrated nut behind this here. My old shocks had it so I couldn't reuse the bolt. I uh, just put some zip ties to hold the ABS cable in place. At first I Put the gap to 78 millimeters in the front, and then front right was 120 to the fender and 115 to the other side. I did take several drives and whatnot, it was still all the time the same. So, what I did front left, I added another 7 millimeters, and now those sides are almost equal. Or like, there's 120, and also I am sitting on the left side, so. Uh, it's not good if the left side is without me already lower. So now they're equal when I sit inside, probably the left side will go down. Uh, on the rear, at first I did 112, but then it was super low. It was only 100 millimeters, and before I had 131, 125. And then I went from 112 to 140, and now it's 125, 130. Left side can be slightly higher because I sit on the left side, so it will even out anyways. This is how it looks now. It's like pretty low. I think I could put the rear a bit higher even. The front looks like this. Here it's like a couple of fingers. So I actually wouldn't mind even raising it higher. And from the other side it's the same. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I have to say these PC racing coilovers are really good, like highly, highly recommended. The ride is so much better, the handling is way better, torque steer is way better. It's like, of course the previous suspension was already messed up, but uh, definitely, definitely recommend to get these PC racing coilovers. I have now driven about 2000 kilometers and so far I'm extremely happy. Uh, about the stiffness of the ride, currently I'm keeping it in the most soft position actually. So uh, I haven't even uh, turned it hard, it's very nice ride, it's still sporty, so definitely recommend it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like.